stuff from this Troy Avenue interview. We needed you on this interview yesterday, man. No, you didn't. We, yeah, we did. We need to hear your perspective since you know what's going on. I, you know don't, I, mean? I don't know nothing, but you, you didn't. You know what's going on. You, I think it's because you're on the side of the hater. That's why you didn't want to be a part of it. Well, here's the thing. I'm not on the side of nobody, but you know, if you, you remember. Are, if, my man, you, I think everybody is, is coming down on Troy Avenue, but everybody don't recognize how this whole thing stemmed and how it started. You how, know how it started. Uh, how about everybody need to recognize the fact that Ronald McFadden a banger is dead, and if you know, if, we understand that. But, we, I think everybody. I think that's. A, I think that's a that's a given. I'm just thinking that how it started. Everything started from 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 Twitter and from bullying and from hating, and everybody's coming down this young man like he's he's just snitching out of nowhere, or he's just talking about it out of nowhere. When he was minding his business, doing what he needed to do, and somebody came out and, and provoked him. Well, all I'm gonna say is this: if you remember that last interview, and you remember uh, the energy that last interview created, and the <laughs> family being upset yeah, and yeah, agitated. I with Troy, the only thing with Troy that I don't like is that he he, he tends not to be a unapolog. He tends to be unapologetic. Well, and I that's what I'm. And saying, and that's why I'm not entertaining that what? energy because I don't want to agitate the family. You're the media, my man. You're the media. You got to get that. You got to get that for the people to see. Well, let me ask you a question. You don't think that certain media personalities choose not to do certain interviews for certain reasons? Of course, obviously, but that you and you're the media is supposed to be unbiased. People look to you for for information. People so, look to you so, for this. So, so, so the best way to be un, the best way to be unbiased is to remove yourself from the situation. Uh, if you already think I'm biased, right? You copping out right now, Charlie. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just. I'm just We'll just see how the trial plays out, sir. We'll definitely keep you updated. All right. Hello, who's this? Hi, my name is R. Squiggly from Virginia. Hey, what's up, bro? Get it off your chest. Look, man, I'm going to be honest with you, right? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm really like a heartwarming person. I really love this. I don't love this girl, but I've been talking to this girl for a month and a half. Everything was good. We talked every single day, FaceTime every single day, at least five times a day, right? Over the weekend, Saturday, she stops talking to me out of nowhere. Mm. And then comes to find out, I check her Snapchat. She's with her ex-boyfriend. Damn it, right. man. Now, yes, and now she's going on She's going on day three, staying the night over her ex-boyfriend's house. Wow. And I, I, I confronted her yesterday and was like, yo, you know, because I FaceTimed her after I got off work. I work at a sex shop, a local sex shop. I got <laughs> off work and I FaceTimed her and I was like, you know, what's up? And then she carried me. You know what I'm saying? She was acting like, she like, instead of just like, she, you know, we've been talking every single day. She made it seem like, oh, why am I calling her? And, I'm, and I said, and she was with her ex-boyfriend. I said it in, in front of both of them. I was like, we talk every single day. Like, you just switched up on me. Well, that was, so, so was that your girlfriend or just somebody you were dating? Definitely not his girl. Why do you care? Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. You get to save money. Exactly. Exactly. You get to save money. You're a little That's hurt, right. though. You're a little He's hurt because you did hurt. like her. Yeah, I liked her a lot. I am hurt. I ain't going to front Right. Her. It's okay. It's okay to be know. hurt. But you got to move on, bro. She doesn't doesn't save money tomorrow. Why do you care? I don't know if it's from like from being on Jerry Springer or something, but like it it just that went just downhill for me. You know, you was on Jerry Springer. Yeah, if you look up, oh boy. I sung a song and broke up with a girl uh, last year. Oh, I'm going to be honest with you. You deserve everything that's coming yeah, your you way. Do. Today's Jerry it's Springer's karma, birthday, bro. by the way. Today, Jerry Springer you, is 74 years old. He called up here just to promote his goddamn Jerry Springer appearance. Like, we're going to go all the way back on, on YouTube from a few years <laughs> ago with Black Panther coming out this week. Nobody got that kind of time. All right. Get it off your chest. 800-585-1051. If you're upset, you need to vent. Hit us up now. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Up the mother, mother phone and die. This is your time to get it off your chest, whether you're mad or blessed. Say it with your chest. We want to hear from you on The Breakfast Club. So you better have the same energy. Yeah. Hello, who's this? Queen God, DJ Envy, this friend from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Yo. Valentine's Day. Valentine's is tomorrow, tomorrow sir. Fred. He wants well, to make I'm sure he gets through. I'm calling you today. I ain't going to be able to get to you the rest of the week before y'all go on vacation. Happy Valentine's Day today. Yes, you're the first gotta, one uh, to tell me that, so thank you. Thank you. I have a, a, a quick story and then a question real quick. A um, couple days ago, I went by a co-worker's house to drink and smoke a little bit. I'm thinking, okay, let's see what this do. I get over there. She got her best friend over there, her uh, niece and her brother, who's in the community. I have no problem with that. Do you, boo, do you. So they over there smoking like we trying to qualify for the Olympics. I don't smoke that much. Uh Uh-oh. So after about an hour into it, Uncle Charlotte, this is what you call a teachable moment. I can see and I can hear, but I can't move my body, brother. Okay. I'm thinking thinking that the queen just slit me something, and he's going to make me part of the community. Wow. (laughs) So So what 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 actually happened? What happened next? Well, what happened was they let me sit there and sweat it off about an hour, and they took my drunk ass home. Oh, that's what you think. That's what you remember. You just couldn't (laughs) handle it. That's what I remember. That's what I remember, sir. And my question is, I see last week y'all had two queens on there. 
My question is, maybe if it would enhance my uh, time to get up there a little bit earlier if I come through the back door? We had two queens up here. We only had, had one up here queen. last week. That was Bobby Light. No, and then how about the one guy, the activist? Wasn't he a queen? Oh, oh David John. David. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's my man. Okay. Yep. Y'all had two. So can I get up there faster if I come through the back door? No, you got to have something to say. Bobby Light is on Love & Hip Hop Miami, and David is a, a, a HIV AIDS awareness advocate. Well, yes, not sir. an advocate, advocate, a, whatever you call it. I ain't nothing but a bum to go to work every day, sir. Oh, oh you, no, we, you, we, you, we, we appreciate your as everyday as you, struggle. As long as you know your place <laughs> in the ecosystem. Well, thank you, Fred. Hello, who's this? Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer, get it off your chest. <laughs> I'm mad because I believe Sunday my wife gave me $50, and I lost it. It's here in the house, and I have no idea where Don't you it hate is. that? Retrace yes, your steps. Just try to remember where you were. I was here in the bed. But I don't find it. But I find the ten dollars that she left here on top. But nothing else. Hmm. The pee on top. No. The, the, no, on the ten dollars on top on top of the dresser. Yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you. That's, that's, that's the worst when you, you lose money. It feels good when you find it, but no, I'm sorry for you, Mama. Can't help you. Hello, who's this? Yo, this is Stan from St. Louis. What's up, bro? Get it off your chest. Man, I'm mad because I'm in the army. And it's currently 20 degrees here in St. Louis, and I got to get up and go PT, you know, run in the cold and all that. You well, we appreciate run in the you. Cold? We appreciate you for protecting us, though, but that sucks. I, I I'm know. sure. Man, you just don't understand. I'll be shivering, and sometimes <laughs> they'll be like, all right, strip it down to your shorts. I'm like, what? Wow, I that am just, not built like that. I respect you. That just sounds freaky, bro. Somebody just want to see your shrinkage. <laughs> I mean, hey, that may be the case, man. It's a new army, you know what I'm saying? So, I um, mean, but at, at that point, I'm just shivering. Don't even care who's looking. I'll let her get this over with. Hey, Damn. man, don't ask, don't tell. Oh, boy. All right. Get it off your chest. 800-585-1051. If you're upset, you need to vent. Hit us up at any time. You we got rumors on the way? Yes. What is next for Mary J. Blige after she got an Oscar nomination in Mudbound? What is she doing next? We'll tell you what she has coming up. Also, Cardi B, what's she up to? Find out who she's going on tour with. All right, we'll get into all that when we come back. Keep it locked. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. All right, what's good? What up? It's your brother Sam Ant here of All Hip Hop News. Y'all know what to do before I get on my one-two. Go up top and hit that like button. All right, so we heard the first caller going in on Charlemagne in regards to the Troy Ave Breakfast Club interview that happened a couple of days ago where Charlemagne the God was not in attendance, and he went on to say why. He said if you don't have really anything nice to say, anything positive, or the energy isn't right, that he wanted to avoid and take himself out of that situation. And the caller put him on the stand and checked him and said, hey man, you're a radio personality, a very controversial one at that. You were the one that asked the tough questions to go at these people. You're almost expected to be there to handle that interview and take that on. Your personality was needed in that situation. Now, in regards to Troy Ave himself, we all know the situation between him, Tack Stone, the Irving Plaza, the Irving shooting, excuse me, where a young man lost his life. Troy Ave got shot. Tack Stone sitting behind bars currently facing a lot of time if he is found guilty of these alleged crimes. Troy Ave coming out on his recent tape, on his recent release, his recent music, and having a controversial verse where he basically says, and I'm paraphrasing right now, where he's basically going to sit on the stand with the middle finger up saying, fuck you, to Tack Stone all the way to prison for a very, very long time now. A lot of people are questioning his street cred where he went into also on a breakfast club where he said, what is street cred right now? A lot of that is smoke and mirrors. A lot of that is fugazi. A lot of that is game. But that's real interesting to say, 